What's up, Dan Blewett here, and I've got another book review on mental training, and this one is The Unfettered Mind by Taquan Soho. So I read this book in college because I studied philosophy because I'm strange, and this is a strange little book. However, I highly recommend you spend like the $4 it will take to buy this on Amazon and read it because it's a couple of reasons. Number one, Reading challenging, weird literature from the old days is just really interesting. It's interesting to see how people used to speak. Um, and this book, let me tell you about it. So, number one, this was written by, it says right here, Writings of the Zen Master to the Sword Master. So, this is sort of like a handbook for samurai warriors. And it talks over and over and over about what it takes to make it in very, sometimes confusing language. Um, but there's a lot of common themes. Here's one. The right mind and the confused mind. So the one thing that Samurai talked about at length in not just this book, but many books is how your mind has to be fluid and unthinking if it's going to be, if you're going to be at your best. And you can imagine if you're in a sword fight with someone, especially with another skilled warrior, like another Samurai, um, if you're scared about getting killed, you're for sure going to get killed because you're going to be nervous. Imagine how nervous you are when you're, you know, it's the bottom of the ninth, there's two outs, and the bases are loaded, and you need a double to score the winning run from first. There's all this pressure on you, and that's with like literally no consequences except for being sad and embarrassing yourself and your team losing. Imagine if the bases were loaded, and you died if you got out. That's what these people are preparing themselves for, uh, combat. So you see all the Japanese martial arts movies, you know, the sword play, and how crazy it is, and how fluid it is, and they're just... Come, you know, it doesn't matter where the sword goes, they're combating it, combating it. Um, and that was because they practiced so much and because their mind was fluid. They weren't stopped on their fear. They weren't um, trying to figure out where they're going next. They just flowed with it. Just like when you're pitching well or you're hitting well, you're not trying to do it. You just get the ball, you go through your delivery unconsciously, and you fire. When you're hitting, and I have moments from a kid I remembered I hit a home run on my first varsity at bat in Apo Taco. It was a short porch. It was like 340 to right center. But still, I had a home run on my first varsity at bat. And do you know why? Because I was super scared. And I remember I was so nervous that my brain was like very dumb because it was clouded by the fear. And because I was so afraid and nervous, I just reacted. I just like saw ball and hit ball and I hit a dinger. And there were many memories like that from my career because I was a good hitter but not a great hitter because I kind of told myself swing. That's, that was my problem. I realize that now a lot of my biggest hits and especially my high school career were at times when I was really nervous and I just got there and I just didn't think. And my body just like hit a double. I was like, holy crap. And I remember them specifically because I felt like I was out of control. Like I didn't do that. Like who hit that ball to the fence, who hit that dinger? Like it wasn't me because I just had this out of body experience because I was so locked in really just because of nervousness that my body just took over and reacted. And that's what these warriors did. And so a lot of the writings in this book are to culminate that or to create that mind where they're just flowing and they're not worried and they're not stopping on anything. And it's also to talk about the preparation and discipline it takes to become um, a master swordsman. So it's actually really interesting. Um, I didn't realize I still had highlighting in here, but 21 year old Dan highlighted this book up and wrote little notes in there. Uh, but I was really excited about being a good pitcher at that time. And this book was one of like 10 that I read, uh, I think my sophomore junior year with um, Dr. Templeton, who's in my book, Dear Baseball Gods. He was a very influential philosophy teacher and he taught philosophy of sport, philosophy of the Asian martial arts, classes that I really liked. And that had a lot of carryover because it was so much mental training. It was so much philosophical stuff for samurai and for, for other martial artists to help keep them alive. Um, we take that for granted in the US. Uh, it's not really, like I think a lot of us know now that mental training is important, but it's not part of the ritual like it is going to practice every day. Whereas there, they're meditating every day. There's ton, it's, it's, it's as important as the physical preparation. And that's what these books are about. So this book is 95 pages, I don't know, a couple more. It's like, before you get to the, uh, the end, it's like 97 pages. 
and it's not super big text. It's, it's obviously a tiny book. It's like four inches by six inches. So you could read this in a day if it wasn't pretty confusing. And there's lots of little poems in there and, and things to think about. But I promise you if, you, if you're not 12, if you're 12, this is not the book for you. But if you're a little older and you're willing to challenge yourself a little bit and think outside the box and read some stuff that really makes you ponder, um, then this is a cool little read. It's not hard. Um, it's not long, but there's some stuff in there that I remember when I read it, just like kind of help the light bulb go off, little epiphanies, stuff like that, and just interesting ways of thinking about it. But they talk about how every man is equipped with the sharp sword Taya, and in each one is perfectly complete. And that's just saying that you have the talent within you, that if you are disciplined enough and prepare well enough, that you can be a master, is what they're saying. So there's lots of stuff in here that, again, it's going to challenge you as a reader um, and just challenge you as an athlete as well. But there's going to be a bunch more of these books uh, in my review videos because I really find that they're valuable. And this is something that I translate like in my mental skills course to Resolute Athlete, which is also in the description below. Um, I took a lot of these lessons out and I made them in kind of like plain English. So if you're not looking to read a book and you want to take my video course, that's in the description below. Um, highly recommend that but this little book's like four bucks five bucks you can get it used on Amazon it's a really interesting read and it's challenging and again these are people that were doing important stuff life or death stuff and they really knew the value of mental training all right so check it out the unfettered mind you can find on Amazon maybe in your local bookstore I'm not sure but it's a good read good ancient history kind of stuff and uh, yeah check it out and enjoy it See you here in the next YouTube video and my next book review.